So we're going to look at proving Pythagoras' theorem with this right angle triangle. I'm going to label our sides A, B and C, where C is the hypotenuse. And I'm going to arrange four congruent right angle triangles to make, well, almost a perfect square. And if you notice that length C in our original triangle is now on the outside of our square. So we're going to label the lengths. Again, the hypotenuse is on the outside, so we'll call that length C. And the shorter side B, and the shortest side angle A. So the length of the square in the middle must be B minus A. Now we know the area of the larger square. We'll call that C squared, which is length times width. That is equal to four lots of our initial triangle, our original triangle, which has got an area half base times height, in this case, half AB. Plus, the smaller square in the centre, which is B minus A all squared. So, C squared is multiplying these brackets out 2AB plus B minus A lots of B minus A. We'll now multiply that out, so we get C squared equals 2AB plus b squared minus ab minus ab plus a squared. So c squared equals 2ab plus b squared, collectively two terms together, minus 2ab, add a squared. And we can simplify them two terms. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared, which is Pythagoras' theorem. Thank you.